say, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the only pet peeves I had about the hood, like, it's an area for waste, so I expect it to get messy every week, okay? I mean, try not to make, let it get overly messy, but it's a place where we dump our waste. So, the only pet peeves I have is it's not where we leave our dirty dishes to be washed. Every day people leave dishes here, and I don't understand why you can't just rinse them and put them in the dirty dish thing. Also, when the waste is full, for some reason people constantly continue to pour waste in it and it's overflowing into the hood and they keep pouring. So, when something's full, don't pour more into it, and this is not with three dishes. Otherwise, I mean, throw anything that's harmful in here. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay. are you going to have a chance to join us again after this? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's another, so this is the, our water, purified water here. Um, so I think it works, right? So we can just turn it on, it comes out. Um, before we were using some sort of cover, but apparently somebody took that off. Yeah. So, um, but it's important not to leave this running you are filling these large, um, larger containers for water, you don't just leave it in the sink overflowing. Um, that's a problem. Or sometimes people will have will start to fill, and then it will be coming out the top and all over the place. So if you're if you're going to fill up either carboy, then you need to pay attention to them and do just mark these with different times. So it says about you need to fill the whole thing. It takes about uh, 30 minutes, so just be aware of that and maybe set a timer for 25 minutes and come back in 25 minutes if you're filling the whole thing. Um, it's also really important with these sinks to look at these, so we have these different things here, but you can't put anything down the sink. You can't put ethanol down the sink, um, you can't put a PFA, um, EDTA, nothing goes down the sink. Um, everything needs to go into the waste container, even PBS also should go yeah. in, the, in the waste container. So no. Nothing except for water goes down the sink, um, and that's a problem that we've had before, so just be aware of that. If you're cleaning something, the liposome team used to clean things with ethanol above the sink. Um, you need to have a secondary container to catch the ethanol so you can put it in the waste container. So you can't be just cleaning and letting the ethanol or like acetone or whatever you may be using going down the sink. That's not, not allowed. Um, question. When we can recycle these things without dishwashing? Sometimes we put... Yeah. Water. If they just have had water in them, water? hang them up and let them dry. Yeah. Only water, right? Yeah. yeah only water. Only Pure, water. Purified water. Okay. Yeah. You can Not also wash water. them out by hand. So you don't need to go through the whole washing right. thing yeah. if you rinse them out by hand. Or if you're just using it for PBS, you can reuse it for PBS. And that's a great thing for those two. Are you going to pick up that? Most of these, when you do a stain, can be rinsed out and hung up here. Yeah. Actually, almost always, they can be rinsed out and hung up here instead of overloading the dishwasher. Because otherwise, when you use the stain, mm -hmm. some uh, solution, it should be clean, no? After using the mixture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, because noise. always is you no know, stain by some yeah. blue or red. Yeah. It is very difficult yeah. to wash, uh, even though when you use the dishwasher sometimes. Right. Yeah, yeah, I think the best way is if right after you do the stain, just yeah. use this detergent oh. <laughs> and water and switch it around and it rinses yeah. off really well, yeah. rather than letting it dry in the dish box. But, yeah. As long as it gets clean. 